Hey tribe, welcome to Pure Black Magic Tarot. Emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. Whether you are new here or returning, thank you guys so much for tuning into these messages. This is going to be a weekend collective reading for all signs, all placements. Very general messages, so please do not force this reading to fit. If you would like to book a private reading with me, that information is going to be down below. Um, also, quick announcement. Today is the last day for the Be Amused, the brand pre-sale. So if you guys are wanting to purchase one of the t-shirts that are featured on our Instagram, um, do it today. I will be shipping out the shirts by next Friday. I'll put that information in the description box below, the handle for our Instagram as well. Okay, so... Uh, two songs for the collective this weekend. I got Kill Bill by SZA and Internet Trolls by Glorilla. Um, so there's a lot going on with the energy. With the Kill Bill song, it's definitely giving me the energy of someone um, either not wanting you to be happy or in a certain position or a certain level without them. Um, or instead of them. So somebody could want your spot. Somebody could want your position, whether this is your personal life, whether it's a friendship or romantic something, um, some sort of connection here or something that you have or something that you're accomplishing. Somebody might want that to be them instead of you, okay? Um, and that could resonate a lot of different ways for you guys. Um, this person might also be a little delusional, okay? Because that's what I'm picking up to. Like somebody's not in their right mindset or somebody could just be like, you know, causing drama or like very drastic with like their actions this weekend towards you or towards someone that you might have some sort of connection with. Um, and then the internet troll. So this person or somebody could be trolling y'all this weekend, whether it's like in person or on the internet. Um, I don't know. So for some of y'all, somebody here is just all talk. Like there's a lot of talk that's going on. There's a lot of, um, gossip. There's a lot of drama, whether this talk is towards you, like to you directly or about you behind your back. Um, or like to someone else that you're connected to. Somebody is being trolled here. Somebody is dealing with a person, um, that just is something going on mentally and emotionally with this person here. Somebody might not be able to accept a loss um, of a connection, a relationship, or, you know, not winning or not being in a certain position compared to you or compared to somebody that y'all are dealing with. So we're going to go ahead and hop into it. Let's use the Kipper deck to see what the fortune is looking like for this weekend. Please take a moment to go ahead and like this video, you guys. It helps the content to circulate here on YouTube and it helps me to come back to give you guys these lovely messages. Um, so let's see Kipper deck, Holy Spirit What is the fortune looking like this weekend? What's coming towards the collective? What is it that they need to know? Clarity confirmation What's coming towards the collective? What is it that they need to know? Alright, so that was That was the coffin card Okay, I wanted to pop out here So um, something could be ending Something is already over It kind of just feels like somebody does not want Something to end or something to stop with you Or again, somebody you might be connected to Okay, so let's see um, Scorpio energy could be significant as well With that coffin card What's coming towards the collective this weekend Spirit, let's see Courthouse is here Okay Ooh, in a family room. So there could be something going on um, in regards to family, obviously, or something in regards to like legalities. Uh, somebody could be like wanting or like wanting or threatening to take somebody to court. Something about family ties, family drama could be significant, whether this is you that are that's dealing with this or again, somebody in your energy, somebody you're connected to. Um, a mature man is here. Mature woman is here. Okay unexpected income and despair like somebody's desperate that's what i was picking up on too high honor like somebody wants some someone's um attention or somebody is like desperate to have something go their way somebody could want some sort of commitment or connection with someone here you could have kids with this person or somebody else has kids with this person um let's see what this courthouse is let's see clarity confirmation holy spirit Somebody could feel like entitled like to you or somebody you're connected with. What's the courthouse? Why is this showing up here? The numbers 23, 21 could be significant. Why is courthouse here for the collective this weekend? Let's see. Six of Wands. Yeah, it's like somebody wants to win at all costs. Six of Wands could be uh, dealing with the Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Or have it in your chart. The King of Swords. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius is here too. 
And the Queen of Wands is here. Now, I'm just really getting, especially with the courthouse and the family room, it's giving me something about like a relationship, a possible marriage, or, or again, something about like maybe somebody has kids with whoever this person is. Um, but it's giving me the energy... I gotta say it, and I hate this narrative, it comes out a lot, but it is giving me the energy of like a scorn ex or somebody that's just upset or salty about the fact that somebody does not want to be with them anymore. Um, and, you know, that person could have moved on already or not, but somebody is trying to find a way to like bind somebody to them or like, you know, um, fix this person in terms of like being very... Um, malicious and vindictive and like getting revenge here is what i'm picking up on like somebody's willing to win at all costs the nine of swords is here yeah the queen of swords somebody is um somebody is trying to like project fear or like stress somebody out about a situation here four of wands page of wands knight of wands three of cups yeah reconciliation i keep getting somebody like wants a person to be with them or reconcile with them i don't know if this is you Somebody in your energy, somebody that you're with, somebody that's coming towards you, somebody that wants to come towards you. It's something like that here. Like somebody has their eyes on you, collective, um, and it's someone else that still has ties to or has their eyes on this person. Okay, let's see what the family room is. But I feel like somebody um, also, even if it's not, excuse me, <clears throat> even if it's not like romance let's just say you know somebody has made their mind up about you in terms of like work or a business opportunity or whatever this is there is somebody that's wanting that victory for themselves like somebody wants that attention they want that recognition they want that person they want that relationship they want that promotion they want that something for themselves um but something here is already set in stone like somebody's not letting up on their decision when it comes to you or comes to this what's the family room Clarity, confirmation, Holy Spirit. What's the family room? Why is this here? Especially with mature man being here and mature woman right behind it. Okay, unexpected income, despair. Somebody must. Somebody. Um. Somebody could be reliant on someone financially, or somebody could be trying to target someone's finances, their pockets, their stability, because um they are not wanting anything to do with them. Okay, or somebody is just willing to like not play fair, to play dirty, to try to get something to go in their favor. What's this family room? Let's see. The five of cups, the ten of cups. Ooh, and the ten of swords. Yeah. What's the five of cups? Seven of wands. Somebody here is blocked. Okay. Um, or maybe they are being blocked this weekend. Somebody is just blocking out the energy of someone here. And I feel like there's a person that's just like not happy with themselves. Um, or somebody doesn't want to let go, but something, something is definitely ending here. Ten of cups and the ten of swords. Somebody is like fed up being tied to a particular person or situation, something that has been very disappointing. And I feel like they are ending this or they have ended this, but there's something about this person on the other end that's causing drama this weekend. Let me just see what the five of cups is. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Like somebody wants something back. They could want their family back together or they want some sort of wish fulfillment that they can't have. Um, it could belong to you or it's, it's something, some type of way y'all are, you know, you're mixed up in this here. Let's see. Five of cups. Like somebody feels left out. Somebody is not willing to let go. Somebody could have also thought that, you know, they would always have the upper hand. They would always have a connection with this person. They would always, you know, um, have favoritism to get a promotion or something like that. And I feel like that's not the case. I feel like that's that's backfiring, that mentality. Yeah, especially with the tower card. Heavy emphasis on Scorpio showing up here. Um, or somebody is just, I don't know, it's like they're just disappointed. They're let down. They're not wanting to... Um, they're not wanting something to play out the way that is. it feels like it's going to play out anyway. It's destined to play out. The Fool card, um, Aries, and Ace of Cups. It kind of feels like somebody is going to make, like, um, I want to say one last shot at this. Or at least there's something going on where it's just like a big disturbance um, this weekend towards you or somebody that's that you're connected to. Nine of Pentacles, King of Cups. I really feel like y'all don't really have much to do with this. You may or may not be aware, but it kind of feels like if this is like a third party thing um, or three or more people, it kind of just feels like um, 
It doesn't feel like like you have anything to do with this. Like maybe somebody is wanting to pursue you or you are about to get some sort of like contract or something like that. Um, but look at this, the King of Cups, the World card, the Six of Swords, the Judgment. Like somebody is trying to force somebody's hand or make them choose them or it's something here. Somebody's trying to redirect whoever this King of Cups is, um, their attention off of you and back onto them or just towards them or choosing them over you. Again, whether this was like an argument that, take, that took place or it's taking place and somebody wants um, other people to choose their side over yours or it was some sort of competition. Um, um, or something about like a promotion and you're getting it over this person is something going on whereas there is someone who is salt they salty that's really what it is they are salty they are upset they're not um they're a sore loser they're not willing to take this ill okay so let's see let's pull another spread let's see clarity confirmation holy spirit what's the energies coming towards the collective this weekend the empress is here okay the knight of wands <clears throat> Something's going on. Yeah, something with like the throat chakra, a lot of talking. Um, but the Empress, I feel like y'all are showing up as the Empress or the Emperor, whether you're male or female. Um, nine of Wands, Nine of Wands, and the Empress. I feel like somebody's like either attacking you or blaming you for something or wanting to come towards you or um yeah, like attack you like verbally or just like confront you about something here. But I feel like it's like you're on the outside of this or you're above this, like this energy is beneath you, or this person has no reason to like approach you the way that they're approaching you. It's like the energy is very misdirected. And that's what I was getting with this nine of pentacles, because it's kind of like I just kind of feel like you just been minding your business or you didn't, you know, you really don't have a part to say in it. Um, I feel like you've been doing your own thing and it's like somebody might be blaming you for their downfalls or blaming you for someone else choosing you over them or it's something like that going on here. Seven of Wands. Yeah. Or maybe somebody has blocked. Somebody has just been blocked out here. Something's not working. Somebody can't get their way anymore. And I feel like instead of looking within, they're blaming you, okay? They're directing that towards you or they're blaming, gossiping um, about somebody that you're connected with or somebody's coming towards you. So let's see. Ooh-wee. Clarity confirmation, Holy Spirit, for the collective this weekend. What's the energy coming towards the collective? Look at this Knight of Swords. I'm trying to tell you, Knight of Swords and the Lovers. Somebody's upset. And when I said, I said something about three or more people, like a third party situation, like you are just like, like you just been living your life. You just been doing you like you didn't target this person. Like this person has no reason to be upset at you, but I feel like they're, they're upset or they're jealous. They're envious of some sort of connection that you have. It could be an actual love situation. A Gemini could be significant. Double Gemini showing up here or any air sign. Um, but somebody, it's like somebody could be trying to come in between you and someone else or you and something that you have going on this weekend, Collective. Let's see. Or it's like they're, they're coming. If they're not coming at you, they're coming at like the person here. Or they're just attacking everybody in the situation. It's crazy. Let's see. What's going on? Clarity confirmation. Now, somebody, I mean, I don't know. Somebody could be getting caught up cheating for some of y'all. Um, but it honestly does feel like uh, somebody, if this is love, it honestly does feel like somebody has fully walked away from the person that is like not trying to let go. So it don't, it don't necessarily feel like a cheating situation, but it is giving me that delusional sense of like somebody still feels entitled or feels like somebody belongs to them or they still feel entitled or feel as if a role is theirs or should have been theirs or they're right in a scenario over you or somebody else. It's something like that going on y'all. So you're going to have to leave me a comment, come back and leave me a comment, send me a direct message. Let me know how this is playing out for y'all. Let's see. Clarity confirmation. What else is going on this weekend? The King of Wands is here, okay? Could be dealing with the Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, but I feel like that's somebody that's upset, like somebody's very angry. Um, and before we go forward, I am running a Mother's Day special as well. Uh, so you guys can get a full 45-minute reading. You can buy this for yourself or a feminine energy of your choice. Full 45-minute reading um, as well as the Manifestation Oil and Divine Feminine Oil all for $65. All right, free shipping as well. It is a $110 um, dollar value for $65. So if that's something you want to take advantage of, you can definitely uh, direct message me on Instagram or Facebook or email me to get that deal. So let's see. 
All right, so what's coming towards the collective? The Temperance, the Nine of Swords. Like somebody is stressing somebody out here. Sagittarius could be significant and the High Priestess is here. Okay, Pisces could be significant as well. The higher thing, or you're watching, this could be you watching something go down here too, or you like intuitively know something is going on. Um, it's like you might be picking up on something or you might have the details to a situation, even though, you know, it hasn't really been spoken to you yet. Or maybe you saw this coming, like you first saw this um, happening here. It just kind of feels like y'all know what's up, like what's going on, even though it's kind of like you're on the outside of whatever this is. Higher fan, or you may be choosing to kind of like take a step back from a situation, um, a connection or a situation until somebody, you know, gets together, whatever this is with whoever else this is here. Um, but yes, Taurus could be significant, Pisces or Sagittarius is here. And look at this, the higher fan is looking at the three of cups. It's something about three or more people. I feel like... Um, it's like somebody could be watching you, watching you have fun, watching you do something or watching somebody that you're connected um, with. And then we have the five of swords or somebody's watching to see like for some of y'all, there's someone from your past. OK, let's just say um, it's a little bit different from everything that I just said. It's someone from your past that's just like watching to see like if you're in another commitment or they're watching to see like who you're hanging out with, who you're friends with, you and somebody else. Like whether this is an actual relationship that you're in or not, somebody is like lurking, okay, to see. They could be trying to like watch you in person, watch you on the internet. Like there's more, there could be a group of people here. Or somebody's reporting back to other people about you and what you're doing, okay? Or about this other person. It's something crazy like that going on here. Let's see. What's the temperance card? Clarity confirmation. Why is temperance here for the collective this weekend, spirit? The world card, okay? Like somebody just doesn't have like, if they did have some sort of power control over you or somebody else, not anymore, not with this 10 of cups. Somebody has taken their power back or they are taking their power back here. Um, somebody is choosing peace. They're choosing balance over whoever, whatever this is. It just kind of really feels like somebody's not getting their way in there. Um, for the most part, lashing out, throwing a tantrum. This person can be very childish. Yeah, two of cups. Somebody is choosing their peace, their happiness, or they're choosing you. You are their peace, their happiness, their idea, whatever, over this person. I'm trying to tell you. Okay, this could be somebody coming towards you. Three of cups is here again. Five of swords, three of swords. Somebody doesn't want you to connect with a specific person or doesn't want you to find somebody that's on your level or doesn't want you to get a certain opportunity because they know it's like, if you are seen, if you are chosen, if you are interviewed, if you are courted, dated, whatever the case may be, they know that it's over. Like they know if somebody gets their eyes on you or gets to talk to you or consider you for something, it's over with for them. That's really what I'm getting here. Wow. Okay. What's the nine of swords? What's the nine of swords? Now I'm hearing, uh, what song is that? It's a rap. Hold on. Let me see. Let me Google it. Is that SZA too? But I think, or maybe it's Ariana Grande. Um, I think the dynamic of that song is a little bit different. Oh, it's Mariah Carey. Okay, so yeah, it's Mariah Carey. So I don't know, maybe somebody's name might be Mariah. Actually, no, that's not it. That's a different song. I'm sorry, y'all. I think y'all know what song I'm talking about. It's a newer song and it talks about, um, I think it talks about a breakup. Let me see if I can find it. All right, if y'all can find the artist, I thought it was like Ariana Grande or something like that, but maybe I'm wrong. Um, but for some reason, that song could be significant. So let's see. What's the Nine of Swords? What's the Nine of Swords? The Ace of Wands. And again, too, I kind of feel like because y'all could be this high priestess energy too. What's crazy is male or female, this high priestess energy, this very high vibrational energy here. Um, and especially with the hierophant, I just feel like you're being considered for something or somebody has their eyes on you and somebody's worried about that. Like, I don't know if somebody is becoming aware of, 
I don't know, like somebody's spying on somebody and they can tell through their search history or like something like that, that somebody's interested in you or considering you for something. Like somebody's been being nosy or something like that. Um, Ace of Wands, Five of Pentacles. But I feel like this, I feel like this high priestess and this higher friend is about to be a match. And then the fool card is here. Yeah, Ace of Wands, somebody is, is upset or they're fearing being left out in the cold, like somebody leaving them. But I kind of feel like whoever this is has caused this to happen. So they have like ran this person away or they, you know, their behavior or something like that has made them lose out on this opportunity. The exact thing that they don't want to happen or come towards you or want you to get, they're a lot of the reason as to why that it's happening or they're not getting it. So that's the crazy part about it. Two of Pentacles... The King of Cups, the Eight of Swords. I'm telling you somebody in the King of Cups again, somebody is leaving someone here. Eight of Swords, but this person still wants to work it out. Three of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Page of Wands, Judgment. I feel like, um, again, I feel like somebody could be like targeting someone's like money or somebody's just very codependent um, on you or very codependent on this person. That could be another thing too. Maybe y'all are putting an end to some sort of, again, you could have already put an end to this connection, friend, family, lover, whatever the case may be. Um, but this person is very codependent. Like, I feel like somebody might try to like guilt trip you or guilt trip somebody that's coming towards you. What's the high priestess? The queen of swords. And look at this with the lovers in the background. Again, somebody is against some sort of friendship connection whether it has you know fully blossomed already or it's in the process of blossoming like somebody long story short somebody sees you as a threat i'm saying all of this <laughs> somebody sees you as a threat and i mean you are showing up as the empress and the high priestess but i feel like you know you've attracted whoever whatever this is to come to you um but maybe not even like intentionally, just you being who you are. Somebody is like upset about, um, that's another thing. Somebody's upset about somebody being around you again or seeing you or something like that because it's like compared to them, them compared to you, they know if you're seen, if you're heard, if you're whatever, like it's a wrap, like it's a wrap for them and it feel like it already is. Okay, I don't know if y'all heard, heard the horns in my background again. Yeah, the Queen of Swords, the Three of Cups. Somebody is against some sort of union or some sort of opportunity or something like that. Um, the Page of Swords. I'm also hearing speak now or forever hold your peace. So I don't know if like an actual engagement or a wedding is significant, but I do feel like that speak now or forever hold your peace. Like somebody got something to say about it with the Page of Swords. Um, but somebody is also watching. It could be two people watching, like two feminine energies watching you, stalking you, trolling you. Um, ooh, we eight of swords. What's this higher fit? All right, let's let's wrap this up. Let's wrap up this message. What's this higher fit? Clarity confirmation. The magician. Okay, Gemini Virgo. The Knight of Swords is here. Um, I feel like too, y'all are just, I don't know. Some of y'all are just watching all of this happen. Like maybe this is a friend or a family member that's going through this or a coworker or something like that. Some of y'all are like literally on the outside looking in, watching all of this drama happen. So again, let me know how this resonates in the seven of wands. Yeah. Magician. Somebody is trying to like manipulate somebody to come towards them or something like that. And I feel like it's just really turning this person off even more so, especially with the strength card at the bottom, the ace of pentacles, the page of pentacles. Somebody's pulling all the tricks out the hats. They saying whatever they doing, whatever. Um, and that's just that I'm hearing, uh, if it's up, then it's stuck. So that song by Cardi B could be significant as well. Leo could be significant. But yeah, I'm going to leave it here. Leave me a comment below. Let me know how this resonates for you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I will catch y'all next time.